everybody, my name is Kyle Lines, this is the Kutcher and welcome back to another video. Today in this one, I want to talk to you about Forbidden Droplet. Forbidden Droplet is one of the most powerful going second staple cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, but it has not been seen play for the past couple of months because of a certain card. But now that might be changing because that certain card, being Castria Arise Heart, is now banned. So in this video, I want to talk to you about why Forbidden Droplet is powerful, why it has not been seen play for the past couple of months, and is Forbidden Droplet actually worth playing? So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. But before we can get into the video, we must cover the effect of Forbidden Droplet. So Forbidden Droplet reads as follows. Send any number of other cards from your hand and or face up field to the graveyard. Choose that many effect monsters your opponent controls. And until the end of this turn, their attack is halved. Also, their effects are negated. In response to this card's activation, your opponent cannot activate cards or the effect of cards with the same original type monster spell or trap as the cards sent to the graveyard to activate this card. You can only activate one Forbidden Droplet per turn. So why is Forbidden Droplet super, super powerful? I've actually made a video in the past before covering this card more in depth. So if you wanna go check out that video, uh, I'll put it in the link in the description down below. But basically why Forbidden Droplet is so powerful is because it helps you going second break a board. Basically, if you're versing like a super, super combo wombo deck, Droplet can help you negate their field and help you play through their board as well, just so you don't have to deal with interactions, making sure you can play through the field. Uh, but it's mainly been there to stop like cards that trying to prevent you from playing. Uh, Drytron's kind of an example of this where they set up the Herald of Ultimus and then uh, the try to just negate everything that you do. Droplet is one of those cards that can uh, negate Ultimus without them responding. If you just send a monster, they can't respond with a monster. So Droplet in that case kind of helps you try to break through that field. Same thing with like anything with Scythe, like DPE Scythe format. Droplet was also there to kind of just prevent you, uh, prevent Scythe from going through and just help you play through their field. So Droplet not only is a going second card, but basically helps where if there's a format where uh, people are trying to prevent you from playing, Droplet is kind of there to prevent that. So that's why Droplet has been super powerful in the past. So why has Forbidden Droplet not been seeing play for the past couple of months? Simple, just because of where the format was at. We're going to start off a last year back in November where Tier Limit Tier 0 was going on. I feel like this is where Droplet started dropping off in play. So in that format, Droplet just became less powerful because a lot of the effects that mattered happened in the graveyard. Like the Tier Limit trying to fusion summon and stuff. The Shufflers, the Agitos, Droplet can't do anything to that because only can negate monster effects. Sure, you can negate something like a Rukalos or something like that. But since Tier Limit had the spell traps like Meta Noise or Solik, basically meant that whatever you negated most likely was just going to get sent to grave. Let's say you negate Rukalos, they would just go Solik, negate a guy, send Rukalos, Rukalos, bring it back, and then that Droplet basically just did not do anything at all. All. So in that format, the only thing you can really drop it was something like Abyss Dweller, if you were scared of Abyss Dweller. Everything else just did not matter, so I feel like Droplet just kind of fell off in that format, it just wasn't as powerful in that format. But, when they eventually banned all, or, you know, banned Kit and then limited everything else and destroyed Tier 0 Tier, why didn't it see play after that? Well, you can think this lucky card, Castria. A rice sword. Uh, this card came out at the exact same time that Tier Limit decided to get hit. Uh, the problem with the Rise Heart is a Rise Heart prevents Droplet from activating. Droplet has to send cards from field to graveyard, and a Castrio Rise Heart is a macro cosmos, so you can't really do anything. So Droplet was kind of completely dead if you versed a cash matchup of shift or whatever because i mean you can't activate droplet so droplet was just kind of one of those cards it just kind of fell off also things like if you're versing the purely matchup if they just end in a noir droplets doing nothing to it anything or doing doing nothing to it anyways as well so there is that as well so that's kind of the reason why droplet kind of fell off is because uh tier zero tier and you know a rise heart existing as well so, is Forbidden Droplet actually worth playing? I'm going to say probably 
not. I love Droplet, I hate saying that, but I just don't think this is the right format for Forbidden Droplet to come back into the meta. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the best deck, Unchained. If you're playing against Unchained, Droplet's not going to really do that much, right? Because if you think about their end boards, they're ending on a Soul Rage, uh, the set card Escape, and maybe like a DD High King Caesar. So the only thing Droplet really affects there is the DDD High King Caesar. So you can go Droplet negate that, because if you negate the Soul Rage, they can go Escape, pop the Soul Rage, then Yama affecting Graveyard, bring back the Soul Rage, and then that Droplet basically did nothing. So against the Unchained matchup, it doesn't really do that much. Yes, you're hitting the DDD uh, High King Caesar, but there's other cards that can hit that. Maybe if you want, you're scared of like Griffin as well, if they go for the Griffin line. Um, maybe you want to be scared of that as well, but there's other cards that stop that. You can play something like an Imperm that hits all the meta decks in the format right now as well. So in that matchup, it's like, okay. Same thing when it comes to like purely, like if you're versing purely, they're most likely ending on a Noir that's unaffected. So Droplet's not really going to do anything to that. If they end up doing the trap instead, they most likely will have an XYZ big enough where when they summon the Noir, it's actually unaffected as well. So Droplet doesn't really do anything to that when something like Book can do more damage against Purely in that matchup. Something like Rescue as well. I mean, Rescue is going to be setting four spell traps, so Droplet's not really doing anything to that. They're not really ending on a monster that you're really scared of. Same thing when it's like Tier Limit. If you're versing the Tier Limit matchup, they're going to be kind of relying on their spell traps in Graveyard more than they actually are relying on their field. So Droplet's not going to be really doing much as well uh mana Diem is probably the best one for that because they're trying to go for the uh the calamity lock then droplet will actually do something but if you don't end up a hard drawing hard drawing the trap uh, a trap card for forbidden droplet uh they usually end on the counter trap that can negate forbidden droplet as well so it kind of is weird in that matchup so it's not really great for the meta. Is there any deck that can want to play Forbidden Droplet? And there's only really one, and that is Tier Limit. I feel like Tier Limit can maybe take advantage of playing Droplet in their deck because drawing dead cards in the hand like Trivi Karma, Malicious, any of the Millers, just cards that are stuck in the hand that you want to be in Graveyard, Droplet can do that. Uh, so really, Tier Limit's really the only deck I can think of that really wants to be playing Forbidden Droplet in their deck because Every other deck kind of wants to rely on their hand to kind of break their boards. Purely, they kind of need their hand advantage for their spells to discard cards. So you don't really want to play Droplet in that matchup or in the deck. Rescue, again, doesn't really need it. They're most likely going to be on hand traps in that deck. Same thing for Purely. They're most likely going to be on hand traps instead. Um, uh, Unchained doesn't really need it unless they're very scared of something like Abyss Dweller. That's the only reason why I think you would play Droplet in Unchained is if you're scared of abyss dweller and that's about it everything else you can basically substitute other cards in unchain to break through field so if you're scared of dweller in unchain maybe you want to play droplet that's that's about it though so the only deck that can really play droplet right now is something like tier limit and even then maybe they want to go for like a super poly route instead so i just don't think it's the right format for forbidden, forbidden droplet but I still think it's a card you might want to be wanting to pick up in the future because it could be good later down the line. Yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content on the channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.